Hi guys, welcome back to Lifestyle Love. This video that I've made for you, I'm a little bit nervous about making. It's my top five lessons that I have learned personally about love and relationships. When relationships end, whether they be romantic relationships, long lasting friendships, or even professional relationships, it hurts emotionally and sometimes even physically. It's the severing of a bond between two people. But when things like this happen, I think it's really important to stop, take back, reflect, and understand what lessons we need to have learnt from that, that relationship ending so that we can grow as a person and not make the same mistakes over and over again. So this video I'd like to dedicate to my friend George, who has had some very insightful conversations with me about what makes a great relationship. The first thing that I've learnt is individuality. It is so important not to let relationships define you. You've got to keep up your own passions and hobbies and activities, things that help you feel great as an individual. And when you feel good as an individual, you also come across with a lot more energy and spark, which is attractive to everyone around you. The second thing that I've learned is challenge. It is so important that we're with someone where they inspire us to keep growing both personally and intellectually, and we inspire them back. We need to keep growing and evolving as a person because we are individuals and we are living individuals. Our world is full of so many different adventures and journeys if we open ourselves up to them. And there are some amazing lessons to be learned from every different moment we experience in life. So for me, having someone that challenges me and opens my head, heart and mind is incredibly important. The third thing that I've learned is the importance of having a rock. Someone who has got your back and you have their back no matter what in both the good times and in the bad times. And by no means do I mean having just one rock because that would be a codependent relationship, which is not happy. We should all have multiple rocks around us and also be rocks for other people. Your rock should be someone that you feel safe and secure with. And I'm not talking about being comfortable and letting yourself go, but someone that you can expose your vulnerabilities, your insecurities, and share your deepest, darkest secrets and fears and not feel like you're going to be judged that that person understands, respects you and supports you and, and will help you move on from those things. The fourth most important lesson that I've learned about love and relationships is laughter. Laughter is the glue that bonds two people together. It shows that they've got a common um, connection, they have similar tastes and they appreciate the same things in, in moments in life. Also, when you have a great relationship full of laughter and, and also banter, Often when you have a fight with that person, once you know, you've, you've um, kissed and made up, to be able to look back and laugh together about what triggered that moment, you know, it really shows that you've, you're in a healthy p um, place in your relationship and that you've learned and grown from the, from the argument or fight that actually happened and you can now look back at it and laugh from it and, real, and, not, take it personally and, it, and not take it personally anymore. Also, it's so good to be able to reminisce about funny moments that you have with your friends. And again, when that stuff happens for me personally, it makes me, it reminds me of the importance that person is in my life. And the final lesson that I've learned about love and relationships is respect. When you really have a deep respect for someone, I think it means you really understand them and get them. Everybody has certain characteristics which we find annoying or frustrating or irritating. But if you can stop and try and step into that person's shoes and get an understanding as to why they behave in that way, you can develop a new level of understanding or even sympathy um, as to what makes them tick or what triggers them or what sort of ignites some sort of reaction in them. When, when you understand that about them, you know how to change or slightly alter the way you approach certain subject matters that helps them feel secure and safe in the relationship. Having anyone special in your life is such a luxury. It's something to be really honored and treasured and also incredibly sacred. By no means am I a relationship guru, far from it. But these are things that I have learned over the last, I guess the last year or two as to what makes me feel happy and fulfilled and what I want in a thriving, healthy, happy relationship. I hope this video has helped. If you're in a relationship right now and you've hit, you know, rocky waters and this might help I guess strengthen your relationship or, or give you some insight as to what might be important to you or what you might value in a relationship and if you're single maybe this will help you put together a list of um, I guess key characteristics and values that you're looking for in a relationship 
Either way, having a really good understanding of what's important to us is going to help us find what we're looking for. That's it for Lifestyle Love. Don't forget you can follow me on Instagram or like us on Facebook. I'll see you next week on Money Monday or Lifestyle Love. Ciao!